Yeah, Sean, it's been about a little less than 48 hours now since those storms came through. And you can see around me, this whole area was full of limbs and trees from that giant tree that's behind me. You can see how the roots kind of came up from the ground there. When we talked with town leaders earlier today, they said in the last 48 hours they have been flooded, but actually in a good way, flooded with volunteers, flooded with donations, flooded with people who actually want to help. And you can one way that you can see what's been going on is by looking at what happened in the park earlier today. We saw dozens of people helping out, raking leaves leaves, cutting down big parts of trees, doing really whatever they could to get this place back to normal. Now at this point, town officials say 75% of the people who live here have power back on, but there is still plenty to do. People we talked with who live here say they are happy to pitch in. Everybody looks out for each other, loves each other. If there's a catastrophe like this, you know, uh, there's no lack of volunteers to help. It's really cool to see how much an area comes together, and I think it's a Hoosier thing as much as it is a Pendleton thing, too. Now, just in the last couple of days, we've seen a huge improvement in this park and other places around town. More volunteers are expected in the days to come to sign up. you got to go to the Pendleton Christian Church in town. We'll have all that information for you on our website. But that will start at 9 o'clock again tomorrow. And they've really been in a frenzy to clean up this park because of a special event that they're planning for next week. We'll talk more about that coming up in the next hour.